What is up everybody, Circleflex is here bringing you the second replay of this week's challenge which is tier 9 heavies after taking a look at the Conqueror on Monday. Today we're going to look at the M103. Obviously after the Conqueror buff people were wondering well why would you still play an M103 and I think they're even more similar than before now. Uh, they have similar reloads, the gun be behaves slightly better on the Conqueror but the Conqueror is a bit less uh, troll in armor. The M103 has pretty good armor, and I say pretty good because sometimes you just get trolled and people pen the sides of your turret, your lower plate really easily. But because of the way it's shaped, everybody has been shooting E5s and M103s where like this bathtub design just completely trolls you and you get an awkward bounce zone. It. Same goes for the Commander's Cupola. Uh, unless you're like shooting down on it or like straight at it, it usually results in only uh, module damage and no actual HP damage. In any case, this is Doodle Seeker 101 in uh, a tier 9 match. Uh, there's about 6 tier 9s, the rest is all tier 8 or lower. Uh, pretty good matchmaking uh, for a tier 9. Uh, I'd say it's pretty average matchmaking for a tier 9, it's pretty good. Uh, there is 2 artillery, which can be really annoying on this map. So, and we are on Pearl River Standard Battle. And the enemy team already lost to 1319, I don't really know how he did that, but okay, doesn't matter, it wasn't on our flank, we don't care. So, that was his first victim here, the IS, and the IS-175 pen is gonna have issues with an M103, and he bounces that shot as well. More of his venture up a right metal E-75 and an object 704. So now the shot to the IS, IS bounces again. I think he's bouncing, he's trying to go for the low plate, I think. In any case, Another shot. Almost kills him. Le leaves him on two health. Oh well. You can't have everything, I guess. So now the 704 shows up, which is obviously... I really, uh... It's gonna go through your M103 like butter. Most of the time, anyway. Maybe not if you're hold down. Um, the IS actually pens him now once. And he, ha he just shot on the side of the gun metal on the 704. 704 has some of the weirdest armor layout as well. There's like space side armor and the gun metal is obviously really strong and it all seems to work like a magnet where you only keep shooting that. So <laughs> the 704 kind of snapshots that one I'm pretty sure as uh, Doodle Seeker keeps putting shot after shot into the 704. He bounces the 704 which is absolutely crucial because you don't want to lose like 800 health this early into the game. Another excellent shot there, almost killing the 704 for full health. 704 has had enough of being absolutely butchered by Doodle Seeker and seeks out somebody else. He checks if he can shoot the right metal, goes around, 704 is tracked, kills him. So he just killed the 704 from full health, all on his own, but uh, with some excellent play there. So, in this case... E75 and the M103 start aiming for your Shadows Commander's Cupolas, but the M103 aims uh, slightly faster than E75. LTTB tries to run away, puts another shot into him. LTTB bounces. That's a really good position here against the E75. Now he wants to go for the side armor of the turret, but it was already aimed way too. Uh, it was already turned way too much already, so that was a slight mistake there. Starts aiming for the Cupola again, so does the E75. See, that's what I mean. I'm pretty sure the E75 hit his uh, hatch there and did like no damage and then Dual Seeker missed his uh, cupola. So, there could be an awkward fight there with two heavies aiming for each other's uh, cupolas like that. In any case, the team is not doing all too well. It's 7-9. to nine. Um, They still have their two artillery left and uh, three of their tier 9s. Um, we have three tier 9s, SDA1 and two artillery pieces as well. So, Doodle Seeker here decides to go to the middle and around towards the autoloaders as the SD1 and 7, uh, Centurion 7-1 try to fight them head on. This also allows him to defend the cap if need be because the uh, the entire K line died and there's a T49 as well ne next to our artillery now. So he, he, can, he can defend at the base and go around and kill the autoloaders, that leaves him a lot of options. So he's checking to see if he can push some shots into the T49, but he was not in vendor range, and now that he is, he's no longer spotted. So he checks around, he's like, alright, T49 is probably not going to show up for another while, because the T49 is probably going to reload for about 20 to 25 seconds. 
and that was also the 249 that just went through the cap, I'm pretty sure. The, the MV, M5355 just killed the 249 in TD mode, so that's pretty nice. And oh so balanced, as we all know. Now, I'm not quite sure why he's standing still here for like the short break, he does it again later in the replay. So, I'm not quite sure why that is, I think he might anticipated like an attack from like the E1 or the 5120 and he wanted to go hold down behind that corpse but decides to go forward now anyway uh, and is it looking ever so dicey now it's uh, 3600 3, damage only three people left and now it's a really good position for him here the 5120 has been finding the centurion he might have a shot or two but he's definitely not gonna be full clip he bounces one shot He's really careful here not to expose himself to like all the artillery fire and all that stuff, so he stays behind here. 5120 tries to run away. And he's like, I'm not gonna go in the open. 5120 kills himself. That drop there, I've seen so many people die by that. That's absolutely crazy. I don't know if I can show you guys real quick. But there's like a, a drop off that starts here, and I've seen so many tanks die from that. It's absolutely crazy, and it claims another victim there. So I think when kills himself, he was a one shot for the uh, Doodle Seeker anyway. But um, excellent, uh, excellent fight there. The E1 takes out the Centurion, and the E1 is now under like a hundred health. And this is what I mean—he's standing still again. I'm not sure why this is. It might be to throw off his enemies right now. Like the the artillery might think that he's gonna go forwards, and then he waits a bit to get his stealth back, and then turns around. So the E1 might not expect it. That's my only. That's the only thing I, I I can say about it. It might be that it might be some insane mind games, or or he might just I don't know <laughs> I don't know what happened otherwise. So that might be it. I'm not sure. He checks for the E1 here. It's obviously a one shot, uh, and the M103 has not been spotted in six decades. The enemy one anyway. So he needs to kill the E1 because if the E1 tries to go back and defend the base or whatever and and keep spotting for his artillery mates, then he's gonna be obviously fucked. The E1 actually stuck around there, puts a shot into the side of the turret there, excellent shooting, he bounces another shot from the E1. So far, I think only the IS penned him, and the 704, E75, the E1, the 5120, all bounced on the M103. RT just fired, and missed him, and landed just behind him. He spots the artillery, which is in a really awkward spot, you don't, you don't imagine spotting artillery like this. That was like half a snapshot, pretty damn good. And one of three shoots him in the, in the back. But he has no way of spotting him right now. But uh, I think the M103 might, might be so far away that he can't do self spotting anyway. So he's relatively safe. And now it's equal, because uh, our artillery took out their artillery and it's now 13 against 13. 2 against 2. And he's up to almost 5k damage here. Really well done. Goes in really carefully here. Shoots him once. Does not get spotted. Does not get spotted. I think he doesn't get spotted because he went behind the, the bushes. And this is just an excellent blind shot. I love doing this as well. When you just know they're still there. And you take the shot and you take him out in style. Really nicely done there. Artillery also fires, but uh, it was already too late. Toodles here, 101, already took him out. So now it's just a one on one. And he asked in the team chat what the HP of the M103 is. I don't don't think anybody actually replies. He loads a heat shell. Now, I'm not even sure if that's that good against another M103, but I think it allows you to just pen the front of the turret uh, if you get a if you get a, if you shoot it like head on. And when a free show shop, still full health. Obviously. Do the seeker is not gonna be in an advantage here because he's on six uh, thousand sixty four health, but he bounces a shot, loads another heat shell, and see what I mean by that troll. Like that's uh, that armor on the M one of feet can be so incredibly troll. You can like pen him every day, or you can literally bounce every shot. He like he goes back to AP and actually pens underneath the turret, underneath the gun metal there. It was a bit of a weird pen, I think. Probably hit the uh, the. The turret ring or something like that. So there the enemy finally manages to pen Dual Seeker for once. I think he hit his lower plate there. 
So, Blue Sneak is back to AP, 6500 damage almost. Tries to go for the weak spot here. That was also like a really weird pen. Like, he bounced the shot earlier around the same area. And the enemy. The enemy shot him right in the cupola as well. It only did module damage, so it's red. So, it's. M103 can be incredibly troll like this. Obviously, Duda Seeker finished him off nicely there with the final shot. Almost running out of AP. Uh, and he would have if he didn't shoot the two heat. But uh, all in all, excellent, excellent replay. Really nicely done, uh, especially the one on one against the 704, the one on one against the M103 here. Um, overall, just really nice, uh, neat gameplay. Uh, no real errors except for like one or two shots on the E75, maybe. All in all, pretty perfect replay, I'd say. Uh, over 7,000 damage done in your tier 9 heavy is, of course, excellent. Let's take a look at the post game stats here. All right, taking a quick look at the post game stats here, real quick. Doodle Seeker 101, M103, Steel Wall, High Caliber, Mastery Batch. Uh, if you take a look at the team score here, 1436 basic speed, over 7,000 damage done, 4 kills, and the other carry was pretty much from the artillery with 5 kills. And the rest of the team pretty much did almost nothing. So uh, that's a pretty hard carry uh, for solo play there. And enemy team, let's take a look here, 4,000 damage, T49 did well getting out the artillery. But uh, all in all, pretty nice carry there. Let's take a look at the detailed report. Uh, also, non-premium. But there's a lot of people that don't have premium, apparently, in my replays. Because if he had premium, that would have been the 2154 uh, XP there. So really nicely done. Uh, he made 12k profit, because the heat shells really costed him there. But he also shot so many times. 25 times in M103 is pretty sick. Uh, so, yeah, he also blocked almost 4k damage there. Uh, 3,800, pretty much. Um, so yeah, really nicely played there by Doodle Seeker. Uh, I got another replay coming up on Friday, and then I'll make a separate video answering some questions as well, and announcing the winner for this week. If you enjoyed this replay, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And um, as always, you can always check me out on twitch.tv slash Sircon if I'm live streaming. Uh, you can always check it out. I'm going to live stream almost every time after I upload one of these videos. So I'll leave a, uh, a link in the comment section down below as well. In any case, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day and peace out.